Well, the next legal move in one of Central New York's most high-profile murder cases will play out in an Albany courtroom on September the 5th. And that's when the state's highest court will hear from the Onondaga County District Attorney's Office why Robert Newlander's murder conviction should be reinstated. News Channel Alliance Jeff Kulikowski is still following this case for us. And Jeff, what does this appeal from the DA's office really mean? Well, Christy and Rudd, as you know, we're talking the state's highest court right here, the Court of Appeal. So it's basically the end of the road, at least in terms of the two 2015 case. They'll decide whether the lower appeals court was correct in ruling Robert Newlander was denied a fair trial or no, the court erred overturning his conviction and he should go back to prison. It is a case that's captivated much of central New York for nearly five years now. The prominent doctor and community member arrested and charged with killing his wife in their DeWitt home and then covering it up to look like she slipped and fell in the shower. After eight days of trial and three days of deliberation, a jury finds Robert Newlander guilty of murder. Even before he was sentenced a few months later, a flurry of appeals start. Finally, late last June, an appeals court rules Newlander was denied a fair trial because Juror 12 was texting with family and friends during that 2015 trial. A little over a week later, bail set. Four days after, Newlander posts the million dollars bail. He walks out of the Onondaga County Justice Center a free man again. Last July, with his son and a swarm of media following, the DA's office quickly appeals to the state's highest court, arguing texting alone isn't enough to overturn the murder conviction and that there was nothing in those messages that prevented a fair trial. Now, it could be weeks after those arguments in September before a decision is handed down, but more likely, it's going to be months. Reversing the lower court decision sends Newlander back to prison. Upholding it means the district attorney, Bill Fitzpatrick, will have to decide whether or not to retry Robert Newlander. Christy. Jeff, thank you. Robert Newlander had served almost three years in state prison before being released last summer. He had been sentenced to 20 years to life in prison.